Hello everyone, and welcome back to Sons of the Forest. So, full disclosure here, I'm starting this recording again because I realized I was muted before. So we're left out here in the middle of the dark. So the first thing I'm going to try is sleep. Because last time I was successful in sleeping, and it looks like it did give it to me again this time. But last time, or a couple seconds ago, I got lucky, and the, there were a bunch of enemies here that I was able to kill very easily. But it looks like I'm not going to get that start. What I wanted to do today was to go explore more, and I'm not going to worry about the cave or the bunker. I'm going to go down to this island, I believe, and explore there. Now, <laughs> Virginia is coming over here again. She did visit me in that last recording that just failed. But I had my mic muted, so ho hopefully this time I won't do that. Okay, there's that enemy I was talking about. I was lucky enough to right away do what I wanted to do, which was get some bone armor. Oh, I can hold 16, so I have a enough for four, I believe. But I'm going to make this, and then I'm going to see if I can fight these enemies. Because I got really lucky in that I had all this bone armor, but here I am doing it again. But I just wanted to be on the same page, because I, I just did all this. But I didn't get too far in the recording. I was just about to fly off, and then a helicopter showed up. And now that it's morning, let me do all this stuff again, like drink. I have my rest of my boiled water, or boiled meat over there. So I'll take that, and then drink this. Okay, so we're good on food, and I had that little bit of health. Or I have a little bit of health missing, but now I have more armor. But if I, there were two of those little crawler guys that just showed up before, and I was hoping I could get a free kill on those again. And Virginia showed up before and helped me too. She actually used her gun, which was cool. Well, I could just sit here. I, I wanted Virginia to come back over again, but I'm just gonna get going this time. Unfortunately, I didn't get the bones that I did before, but I'm gonna dismantle this and then get going. Now, somewhere in the woods, I see Virginia coming through. I, I feel bad if I leave her, but. Oh no, wait, I think I see some of the enemies too. Okay, it looks like we are getting a fight. This was the one guy. These guys will get destroyed in one hit with this axe. Oh, that's Virginia. Hey, you have a gun, don't you? That's, oh my god, why, why don't, where's your gun? You had a gun before. Come on, I, you need to be, there you go. You, you need to be the one to do this. You need to learn how to defend yourself. Or you could just run away. This was... This is not a good spot. Let's get down on the flat area here. Hey, she's actually following me. These guys are pretty easy free bones now. There's, I realize they're by far the weakest cannibals because I can destroy them in one hit now. Looks like he wandered off though. All right, well, whatever. Virginia's here. She can protect herself. I'm going to do what I did before, which was glide off. Now, when I did this before, there was a helicopter that showed up and I was talking about how it looked like the helicopter went right for where Virginia was. Cause I jumped off right here and the helicopter went off right through here and I don't know if it's going to come back. Maybe the helicopter spawned because I was going near this area, but this is what I did last time and this is where I realized my mic was muted. I don't see the helicopter this time though, but I was talking about how this hill or this mountain here is kind of hard to get to. I figured this island you'd be able to get to from every side, but it's a good thing that I'm gliding onto it. Now I could raid this camp. There's like a nice lake here. This area does look pretty nice, but I don't like how isolated it is from the rest of the map. Ooh, this looks like something. Oh yeah, that's a campsite. We're gonna land here. This is what I was looking for, was a little loot spot, but I'm gonna go back to one of these smoke stacks and try and raid a camp as well. I need to kill some... Whoa. Oh, I saw these bones. I thought it was a body. I need to kill some cannibals and get some bones. Yes, horsetail. This is what I need for the health mix plus, so I landed in something awesome here. I see this grave. Looks like there's a couple to loot. Uh, I, oh my god, there's way more than a couple. And this looked like a camp. This isn't exactly where I thought I landed. Yeah, okay, there's more to this than I thought. Well, I didn't really use up my rope like I wanted to. Maybe someone will show up and we'll get to fight them. That's what I need to do is fight first. Because I'm going to be leaving a bunch of rope behind if I start looting. There, finally we have someone. Now, I... I had said I'm going to take this spear off. Oh, he, whoa, he had his own spear. But the spear is pretty good. Oh my god. I'm trying to stun him, but he's not stunning at all. Okay, well, I took out your knees. Oh, he hit me there. Okay, big dude. Now, I did learn that you can't really stun these guys. He's got a spear in him now. Let me go with a crossbow. The crossbow and, like, your melee weapon are my two favorite things in this. I do want to try that new bow I got, though, sometime, but I, I really rely on this crossbow right now. Alright, where'd your friend go? 
Oh, he's over here. I'll just take him out and start burning these bodies. I hear footsteps. Oh, no, I don't. But here, we got another skin pouch. So, unfortunately, I had kind of already done this. I got lucky at the beginning of that other recording, but now we're doing it here. I don't even think I can pick up his body. Of course, I can't. There is some rope here I can use and pick up, so... Like, all these crates, I actually got to pick up the rope and use it. Hey, oh, well, I guess that was his spear. So here I am relying on bone armor again, but I don't really mind it. I'm gonna open these skin pouches in a second, but god, this guy's gotta burn up soon, right? So is that another 16? Yes, it is, I think. This is good, because I can just put this all on me, but I also want to resupply, or like a stockpile in my inventory. But I do have, like, the 50 or 100 bones I have over at the base I built, so... There's all those I can go back to. Oh god. Oh, that was the fire. I thought I stepped on the propeller. I'm on fire too. Well, I don't think there's any water nearby. Well, there is, but ugh, I'm gonna be out by the time I get over there. Stop drop and roll, man. Oh god, what? Just a clearing over here. This is one of these effigies. The skeleton one I could build is apparently to ward off enemies. So I learned a bit about what those blueprints might do. But this is a strain. Why is there just this opening? Well, I'm happy to find all the horsetail now. God, all the digging. I don't know if I'm ready to do all this digging. Oh my god, I, every time I think I hear footsteps. There's so many of these graves. Am I not hearing footsteps or what? Okay. Oh, there's a big cross over here. So, I, this is some kind of cave. Or not cave, grave site. Alright, alright. You got the first attack. I guess that means I'm just going to use this. Whoa! Jump attack. That only works when I do it, sir. <laughs> no mercy. Okay. I was going to use melee, but... Something I also wanted to mention, something I've learned, is that you can plate all your weapons in solo fight. And apparently it only works with the melee weapons or makes a difference. I was told to do the melee weapons first. So, the idea of plating this in solo fight is awesome. That sounds like something I very much want to do. I'm still collecting all these berries. I don't know what they're doing yet, but I at least know how to make the health mix. Alright, so I'm going to dig up maybe one or two of these graves, but god, it takes so long to dig up graves, and the last time I did that, a lot of the loot I couldn't even pick up. Most of the loot you're going to get is the rope, which I guess I need now, so. Is this body burning up or what? Alright, well, it looks like I'm going to have full bone armor, and then I only have like three rope left, I believe, so at least I'll have more room. I think I just saw that bird. Okay, I'm gonna try and dig up one or two of these and see what the loot is, but I don't know if I have the patience to sit here and dig up all these graves. Yeah, see, canned cat food and the rope again. You, I learned you can just poke the coffin with the shovel. I was pulling out my axe before. I realized I could just poke at it. Okay, well, they're not too hard to dig up, and it's gonna give me the rope for sure. Okay, that is a bit quicker, and I got more spool. I call it a spool. It's a spool of wire, I guess. Alright, I guess these are worth it. I'm curious, though. Is there anything by this, or was this just a marker by the path? I guess it was. Yeah, there goes my buff. But I'm going to dig up maybe these last two, and then maybe just remember these are here. I say I'm not going to dig them all up, but watch me. I'll probably just end up doing it all. Since this is stuff that you can pick up, and now I have room for the rope, I I still have room for the wire and the cloth, so I'm surprised that I haven't maxed out all that, but I guess the cloth and the wire you are allowed to carry a whole bunch of. And the, the wire is good, because I do intend to use it, so I guess I'll continue digging. Two more rope now. That's all these graves. There's two more here, and then there's even more on the other side. Okay, maybe I will leave this, because... This is something that I can definitely remember is here. Oh my god, Virginia, are you really trying to get over here? Yeah, so this will be a place I can remember to go to if I definitely need more, like, spool or cloth. But considering how much I have, I don't really need to get more. And I, I kind of want to just keep going. There's, like, so many more graves. I want to keep exploring here. I don't want to just get stuck on this. Yeah, there's so many to dig up. But I'll remember this is here if I need more of those spool. This is where you get spool, cloth, and rope mainly. I keep calling it spool. I know it's wire. But then that begs the question of where are we going next? Because, well, that sounds like it could be. 
I kind of want to save because I don't know if if I die again, it might still just end the game. I don't know if I have a, you know, one of the freebie respawns or whatever you'd call it. So, yeah, I'll tell you what, I'm going to put a tarp right here and save to be safe. All right, game saved. So let's just go in this direction. I, there, there's the smoke. I'll go, I'll go towards the smoke. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, you're a little guy. I thought you were a turtle. That also reminds me, there is a bigger turtle. There's a big turtle and a little turtle. And I think that was the case in the first game too. But if I want one of those big shells, I'm going to need the big turtle. And I think they may have gotten rid of the, come on, the turtle shell sliding. I hope you can still slide on them. But I think that's why they added the actual 3D printed sled so you could slide on that. All right, well, what do I do here? I need the bones. I do want to stockpile, so I don't like how we're in a dense brush area. Oh my god. If I can just, yeah, there we go. There's another one around here, though. I want to burn the body, but I also don't want to just do it for one, but I might as well. Come on, I thought I heard another one around here. All right, I'm not going to burn the one body because we're about to go right at camp. So I think that's where I'm going to get the majority of my bones. I believe it was this way. So I'm again, I'm going to rely on the crossbow. I do have the revolver if I ever want to pull it out and try it. I'm happy that I can just kind of rely on the crossbow, though. That's my preferred ranged weapon right now. I, I don't know where the hell these are coming from. I guess it's this camp, but Jesus Christ. This doesn't sound like an inviting camp. I hope this isn't too much to handle. Maybe I am going to need to use the revolver here. Oh no. If, if one bolt kills him, holy shit. Sorry, dude. You got the dramatic takedown. All right. Well, that's one body, but again, it's so densely wooded over here. I can't even see where his body is right now. I think he's over here. There he is. Let me bring his body closer to the camp. If I even know where it is, it's this direction. Yeah, I'm going to rely on something more than my axe here, probably. Hello, I have one of your one of your people. This is a sign of friendship. Oh no, the game's freezing. Now I'm going to make you just... Whoa, what a jump. Holy shit, I thought I was safe up there. I'm going to make you destroy your own building, though, if you want to fight me. Oh, and there goes the arm. See, this axe and my strength are pretty strong. I, she probably didn't have armor. I don't want to... Oh, there goes the other arm, and there are guys dropping from trees. Oh my god. There's the... I keep hitting... Oh no, I hear the motor again. No, I have to reload. Jesus Christ. This is a small camp, but there's so much going on. What was that? What the fuck just blew up? What the... F Who's throwing bombs? Was that a cannibal? Oh my god. I've never had that happen. Was there a mad bomber cannibal or something? All I saw was I shot him and as soon as I pulled the trigger, something blew up. I, I didn't even see what happened. Did he blow up? He's over here somehow. I, maybe he had a C4 on him and I blew him up. Oh my god, I see these guys running on the hill. This is chaos. Why? Why? I didn't want the crazy fight. Oh, I just wanted to come in here and destroy everyone. Well, I'm asserting my dominance against these guys. And I don't even have to use a revolver, but I kind of want to. I have so many bolts and I am getting them back for the most part. Holy shit, though. We are going to be getting the bones. That explosion, though. What was that? Okay, we're getting a moment of peace here. No, I see you up there. Now, there's already a fire, but I don't think I can use that one. I'm going to start making this fire while hopefully these other guys try and attack me. I'd rather them come to me than me go to them. But so begins the stockpile of bone armor. I don't think I'm going to be able to carry the big guy, but there's some more bodies around here, right? Yeah, here's the other two. Oh my god, I heard you. Okay, cheap shot. Just hit me and then run off. So no, the big dude. Can't pick him up. I don't know what he... I don't know why he blew up. That was insane. I don't know where that came from. There was just an explosion and then he was dead and he's way over there. I, I didn't even... It's like I blinked and missed it. But things are calming down finally. Oh no. I thought that... 
thought I heard something. It's hard to tell if you're hearing something run through the woods or just yourself. See, somehow, yeah, it was from the graves already back to tin rope. So we're getting a stockpile here. It seems I used up two of them for this. So I guess I'll just put them on. Oh, it looks like this body missed the fire. Now, I don't think there are any more to go get. All the other ones ran off. Like there were a couple of those crawlers on the hill and they just did not want any of this. But yeah, the axe seems really powerful right now. And if I raise my strength, it's only going to get stronger and I can upgrade with the solar fight. So kind of going back to those cave mutants, I don't even know if I've mentioned it in this recording, but they were the ones with the Puftons. So I've seen those mutants before and I fought them as well in the entertainment bunker when I found the guitar. So I, I've seen those stronger mutants before. Oh, hello. And there's another one showing up. So I kind of should have known what to expect from them, but it's hard to tell when you're in a dark cave if those mutants are like, you know, the stronger versions because they look pretty similar. I think they're more pale or blue or something. And they're a little bigger, so there is a way to tell. All right, well, here's to another four bone armor, though. So how are we looking over here? Pretty good. We got seven and two creepy armor. So I'm going to keep going, though, because I know I'll keep running into rope. There should have been a rope somewhere over here I couldn't pick up. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, there's Virginia. She made her way over to the island, and I'm going to leave her behind again, unfortunately. But... I, I'm pretty happy with finding the two spots I found on this island. That's kind of what I wanted was a camp that I knew I could find. Oh God, this guy's been watching me. I'm just going to get out of here. But then I also found that other grave spot, which is one spot I was looking for. Just like a loot spot of generic stuff. So I could already go back there and get more rope, but God, dude, just leave me alone. But now I want to jump over to this other island. So yeah, for today. Oh yeah. And we can loop back to that question mark so for today oh my god virginia we're gonna loop these islands and explore the islands and then see what's on this very south side and just kind of loop back around to where we were before i guess and i don't think i'm gonna find somewhere i want to build a base i kind of like how that looks over there but i don't know i need somewhere that's flat but also has a huge amount of uh logs and trees oh my god virginia are you over here i feel bad for like leaving you behind Oh my god, look at that. She just wanted to give me a gift. <laughs> the gift of being ambushed. Whose side are you on, Virginia? Okay, I think she's on my side. I thought that was Thunder. Do it again. Put him down. Oh no, she's actually kind of just scared. Oh my god, is that arm working on its own? Holy shit, there we go. Finally, Virginia's helping me again. I wanted to... I wanted her to do this again in this video because she did this at the beginning of that last failed recording. Oh my god. Virginia, defend yourself. Alright, well, I guess I still have to help a little bit. I did a lot, though. He was taking shots. Are we good now? What are you pointing at? Oh my god, there's more on the hill. So, look, I gave you a gun for a reason. I really need to get out of here, and there's no reason for me to hang out. All right, well, we had that moment of Virginia being able to protect herself, so I'm going to get out of here and just let her be her own mutant. God, well, I want to kill that guy, but Virginia will probably find him. I think Virginia is still following me. All right, well, I'm taking the glider. Now, this looks like a much bigger island. Oh, God, there's that helicopter. Now, I don't know what to do about it. I tried following it before. Oh my god, I'm, I'm about to like ran, run into it. Oh my god. Okay, no, they lifted above me. <laughs> That's probably the game doing that on purpose. Or I don't know, he was actually kind of about to hit the rock if he didn't lift up. I guess I'm going to glide along with the helicopter here. I think he is going for Virginia because he's doing the same thing he did last time and he's stopping right here. All right, I guess I'm landing right back here again. Please, goodbye glider. I'll never see you again. There he goes. All right, well, my glider has made it all the way down there. I guess it doesn't matter this much this time because I can just walk onto the island. And it looks like there's a spot I want to explore right there anyway. I mean, I, I could... Oh, if I don't die, I could get back up here. Oh, this is death. This is death. I... I guess it's just like Minecraft. The littlest about bit of water will stop you from dying. <laughs> Whatever. I wanted to fly over this island and see like I did the first one, but I guess we're going to... Hoof it. 
I'd like to see you jump down that, Virginia. It looks a little dark, but it's not. It's still midday. It's just so many shadows from over here. I guess I should let my stamina go back a bit. I, I just enjoy going around with half stamina, I guess. I never really think about it. Like Once I have a base, I'll do a much better job. I'm kind of the nomad right now in this game and just kind of going as it is. Just wandering around wherever. But I do want to build a base so bad. I mean, I always have 10 energy bars and drinks, so I might as well just eat them. My sleep is always in the purple. But I'll, while I'm thinking about it, I will grab water. Oh, I hear some locals nearby. There are paths on these islands, so maybe it'll go somewhere. I can already tell there are cannibals here, though. Well, I see a little pond on my radar. I want something there to be here with this. Yeah, like this, but this looks like a camp. Just a cannibal home. I don't know who was getting buried here. There was a cross in that grave. Okay. Yeah, they found me. I didn't see any smokestacks from this. So I didn't really expect this to be here, but... Oh boy, we're gonna start killing them all again. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try the revolver, just for fun. And I'm there's so many fast ones right now. Yeah, this deer guy with the antlers, he's a special type of mutant or cannibal that you got to watch out for. I'm also just using this revolver for fun, but oh my god, it's kind of hard to tell what I'm doing here. I'm surprised that didn't hit me. I'm also surprised mine didn't hit you. Now, you look interesting. I've never seen a cannibal with that shirt on. Maybe I'll go back to this. Oh my god, I see so many of them running around. That looks like it could have been Virginia, but I don't think she's already made it over here. Damn, see, these guys are so mobile, but this one's gonna give itself away. Oh my god, where are these bolts going? I was trying to look for one, but instead I'm just running into them all. Okay, here's a guy that's sitting still. Surely I can hit him. Oh my god, did I miss? Oh, now I'm just running alongside him. You th what do you? Th oh, he, I thought he was throwing rocks at me. All right. For some whoa. For some reason, it seems like they have a hard time getting up here. There's the fucking fire guy again. I'm definitely cheesing this though. They can't get up here, even though there's a you know ramp right here. You guys built this. I don't know how you don't know how to use it. I'm a little afraid I'm running out of bolts here because I'm shooting a lot and not picking them up. This guy's stuck for sure. He's still down here. Are there any more? I see you. This cannibal was interesting. I've never seen a cannibal with this outfit on. Well, it doesn't matter. They're all getting burned just the same. I guess I should have built the fire first before moving all of them, but... It looks like it's getting a little dark now. I was saying it wasn't, but I don't know. Maybe it's the time of... Maybe it's the season that bases it, how dark it gets so soon. I have no idea what season it is, by the way. I think it's still spring, maybe summer by now. There is a way to check based on what day you're on. On the GPS, it tells you what day it is. So since I'm on normal, I can figure out when winter will start and when each season is. So I just haven't done that yet. Oh my god, four bodies, though. This is going to be even more armor. This is what I was trying to do so long ago, but I didn't have all the duct tape. But now I'm just relying on going spot to spot and getting the rope. I think I had a little bit more even. And I see that heart on the radar again. It keeps following me for some reason. Maybe if I'm with Virginia, though, I'll, I'll have a higher chance of sleeping properly. Oh my god, she's over there shooting. Where did you come from, dude? Oh my god, sneak attack. Oh, he just swung right at me, though. I got him in the spine, though, with that charge attack. Come on, Virginia. Start unloading on this guy. I don't know how this guy missed all the fun. Ooh, that's one way of getting me out of here. Okay, maybe... Oh, Virginia, there we go. Good shot, Virginia. That dude just got his propeller right in his own face. Oh my god, talk about karma. His face would be getting shredded right now. Well, that poor base, that was my safe spot. Oh my god, are there more? Well, here's all the bones in the world. I have four ropes, so I guess that's all I can make. Oh, I guess I'm full. Well, there's my stockpile. Nine 
armor and then two creepy armor. So you can only hold nine bone armor in reserve. Well, at least I did what I wanted to. All right, Virginia, what do you think we should do here? Because I don't like the idea of putting down a camp, but you're just sitting down right here, aren't you? God damn it. I'm just going to do it. I, I'm going to save and then I know we just took over a camp, so maybe that'll do something. But there's no way we can just set up a tarp in the middle of cannibal camp and be safe, right? This is why you save before sleeping. All right, Virginia, let's hope for the best here. Yeah, that's what I expected. Okay, Virginia, you're on your own. No, I can't do that because if she actually dies, then we're screwed. Okay, well, talk about her actually dying. That took about two seconds. No, we're good, though. I can still just revive her. There we go. Now, it's, I know it's pitch black. Maybe I'll brighten this little fight up. Well, we got to make sure we clear out all of them here. I guess I'll get my flashlight now. That dude jumped and I sawed his leg off while he was midair. Now, is Virginia going to finish this guy off? Oh, my God. Whoa. This dude's got like a wetsuit on. All right. I got to finish him off. See, Virginia, this is what happens. I don't even need to sleep at all. I just... I just like exploring during the day. Is that leg tasty? I, I should know. I tried one myself one time. Well, can we sleep this time? <laughs> nope. I, yeah, I think there's a reason the game does this, so you can't just cheese. But I think me and Virginia, we're just going to show we're hardcore and we don't give a fuck about this. We'll just keep spamming sleep if that's what it takes. One of these has got to work, right? <laughs> oh my god, so this is the mutant. Well, I say. I think this could be a normal one. I don't know. But I think this is the much tougher one. Because they're like paler gray than the other mutants. Oh god, Virginia, don't jump scare me like that. Oh, hello, crew. Do you really think you can just walk in here? I, I think I've made it known that this is my base. Okay. I'm reloading finally. I guess these are 9mm bullets. Well, if I wanted to make this base my own, I could. But I definitely don't because they're just going to be coming back. God, I can't hit anything. Virginia's a better shot than I am. I like how Virginia's acting all scared, but that like third arm is just like acting on its own. I, I want to believe that arm has a mind of its own. Holy shit, though. I'm starving here because of how many times I slept. I have all the MREs in the world, though. Oh, wow, one MRE. That is like a savior. I'm sure that's not how it is on the harder difficulties. I think one of the options is... I wanted to play this game, like, custom settings, basically. I was originally going to set it to where some of the settings were harder, like the wetness. Because, like, I think... Uh, this is just me talking. I think if I was on a harder difficulty, if I got wet here huh, and then got out, I would be wet and I would have to get by a fire to dry off which is how it was in the first game and that was something I really enjoyed in the first game but apparently on normal difficulty being wet is like a winter time thing well Virginia I think we're done here I don't have more, any more room for bones or anything I'm gonna save and then keep going I guess that smokestack is supposed to be the one for this camp but it's way over here oh no there was like more to it over here I guess this is where the other ones came from Oh, man, the throne. What does this look like? I guess I just said it in first person. I thought it was going to like go to third person or something. I hear some strange noises out in the woods. Virginia, watch out there. Why are you so close? Oh, my God. Thumbs up. I, I agree. But I don't like that weird gurgling sound we're hearing in the woods. Oh, skin pouches. Let me open some of these. I only have six. Oh my god. I'm surprised I'm not full on, like, everything. But here, this will for sure resupply meds and, like, anything else. I think a lot of these meds I probably don't even have room for. I'm just <laughs> opening everything. I don't, maybe it won't give me duplicate stuff, but I have no idea. Well, there we go. I have no idea what I got. But we got more duct tape. We have full meds. Oh, I saw, what about like the wire? 83 wire and 97 cloth. So maybe 100 is the max, but I don't know. Okay, I'm going to go to this little tail end of the island and then I'm going to say we're done exploring here for now. These islands are cool, but 
There's probably something specifically special here, but I haven't been led to it yet. So I'm going to just kind of walk down here and uh, head to that blue question mark. But man, I'd say a mission accomplished. We have max bone armor on me. Well, I have one slot missing, but pretty much max armor, max bones. That was what I was trying to do so long ago. Like when I started out this series, that was like what I wanted to do immediately was, was farm bone armor. But it was a little hard for me to do that. I was channeling a lot of my memories from the first game then. I didn't even realize like I could have just gone hunting and I probably should have done that. I should have just focused on hunting a bunch and getting a nice base, but I've not really done that with this playthrough. Well, it looks like I could get up from over there. I guess I will. That's the quicker way. <laughs> It'd be nice if there was a boat in this game that I could actually like drive around. Okay, it does look like I'm going to be able to get up from here though. Kind of talking about what I was earlier. Another one of the settings I was thinking of changing was for the consumables. Because I wanted to play on like normal difficulty where enemies had normal health and I had normal damage or whatever. But I wanted the consumables to not be as good. I wanted there to be more of a focus on having to eat. And that's what I mean with like the MRE there. I can take one MRE and be good. But if I had it on a harder setting, the MREs wouldn't be as useful. And I'd actually have to go hunting and stuff for food. So that was something I was thinking about doing. But when I started this, I just figured putting it on normal would be easier. Because even with this being on normal, it's a lot harder to play the game when you're commentating. Trust me. I, I can use that as an excuse, but it's much harder to play a game when you're commentating. Now I'm waiting for this beacon to pop up. We're in the middle of the woods here. Maybe it was in the cave. Okay, it looks like it was. It's hard to tell exactly where something is. See, there's so many bushes. The locator says it's right here. Oh my god, that was hard enough to find. Now, I can't pick it up, so I guess it's going to stay here. So this is leading into the cave, though. This is probably a blueprint cave, because they don't really go too deep. But oh my god. All these caves that, like, the cannibals have gone through and hung up people... I don't mind leaving all this canned food behind because it's not very good anyway. But look, I, I can actually pick up all this rope and duct tape and cloth and everything else. Okay, I guess this is where I need to go. I looted everything in here. Oh my god, that's super loud. Were those falling? Yeah, those. I just ran past them. I guess those were supposed to jump scare me. All right, you know, all these bodies, I'm starting to get used to it at this point. Just a quick climb up and uh, I guess we're just leaving. But maybe that was just some loot. I figured there'd be a blueprint in there. Maybe there is. Usually when there's a GPS marker, there's something more. Yeah, I can't help but feel like there's more in here. Since this is so small, let me just run through real quick. It's super dark, even with the flashlight. I can only see whatever I'm looking directly at with the flashlight. Well, I think this was just a loot cave. I expected there to be a blueprint somewhere. But I guess it was just all that crazy loot. Is it going to be dark when I get out here? Oh, there's the sun. Well, here we are at the pretty southeast end of the island. Virginia's trying to make her way back. I'm going to explore this crazy looking lake. And then... I don't see anything else really on the radar. There is a cave over there. I'm going to just kind of go through here and then kind of go along the south shore. Hmm, this doesn't look like a lake like I was thinking it was. This looks like more like a swamp. Wow, this is an interesting area. I don't think I'd build a base here, but it's nice and flat. And I kind of like the water, but that would get a little annoying. You probably can't build in this. Yeah, this is actually really interesting. I was expecting this to be like a big lake, but it's more like a dried up lake. Why is there just an effigy out here? Huh. Well, we're running out of map markers. That question mark's going to stay there because I didn't have room for another locator. But I don't see anything on the map. There's possible locations, like more lakes I could go look at. But I'm just going to keep going along here and see what I run into. There is that path that kind of goes along the mountain there that looks interesting. So yeah, as we kind of final up or finalize this episode, I do think I'm probably going to go back to the an area I already knew or was potentially a good spot for a base. But I don't know. I think I could also just go way up in the air and glide around. I think I'm going to have to do that before I decide on a base. Yeah, not a lot around here. Well, there's two paths here. I could follow the path going up or I could go down. 
I don't know. I feel like the path going down would be more interesting, but man, it is way down there. Actually, I'm just going to keep going this way. We'll take the high road. Now, this looks like an interesting little cubby. I don't know if this will have anything, but I don't know. This is just an interesting spot. You could build a little base here, I guess. It's got a lot of natural defenses. When it comes to my base, I plan on building a nice house that I could put some of that furniture in because you can build furniture and stuff. So I want a house that you could actually just live in. But then I might have like a storage shed and some other building specific for specific items or storage or something. But there's a lot to build, so I'm going to have fun with it. And I definitely want all kinds of storage and, you know, have like a big amount of loot supplied up. Specifically like meat and drying racks, though. I have a lot of the other stuff on me. Like the loot that you can't really carry on you is the rope. But there might be a way, in the first game there was a way of storing rope with a blueprint. But also, you could put down the solar panels, and that will uh, be a way of storing them at your base. Now, thank God, I was afraid I had left my glider. Now, let me glide down here and look at what all this is. There looks like there's something down here. Oh, and there's a yacht. Okay, we're going down here. It looked like there was some kind of, yeah, statue, but maybe that was another one of these trees that have a tarp on them. I don't know. Someone's been doing this still. Well, other than this being a little watering hole, maybe this wasn't too much. But I am going to look at that yacht. There should be something on there for me. And I see that golf cart over there, so I don't think I'm going to be able to drive that. Well, I yeah, we will be going back with the golf cart, because I am going to drive that back over if I can. If it's not too hilly. Wow, gorgeous view of the ocean, though. But well, here we head into the yacht. I do remember the yacht from before, but I think they changed the locations of where they were. Oh my god, someone's already been on this one. I can get up here. Well, oh my god. There's already just so many left bodies here. Come on, I, I need some loot. Not all this gore. Wow, a suitcase. It's been so long since I've opened one of them. Well, definitely eating that. Okay, here we go. We got a note at least. While I eat this, I'll take a deeper look around. But here, what's the note say? Silas again. They were building the bunkers in the star pattern of Solange? I don't know. I did not pronounce that right. Solani? They know what this place is. Ivan. Okay. Silas and Ivan know what's going on here. And maybe that's a constellation. But yeah, all the bunkers are in a star pattern. <laughs> I'm assuming it's pronounced Solani, like Sola Fight. It's very interesting, though. I did not expect there to be this much, like, backstory and lore in this game. And all these yachts, ooh, a blazer. All these yachts are somewhat connected. I don't know how the worshippers or the cultists, I call them worshippers, they're cultists. How they all got here, or who even had this one. I guess Silas and Ivan to some degree, or whoever they are. I've only heard of them in the notes. But all right. I don't know if that star pattern is going to really tell me anything. I think that note was more just about lore. So I didn't find anything super interesting, but I'm going to turn around and go back to that golf cart. So there were two spots that I noticed were pretty open. I know where one is, and one spot is a spot I've noticed for a long time. And I'm sure it's a spot other people have built their base, but it's I think it's near a waterfall. I don't, I don't even know if it's a waterfall, but it's near some big water thing, and it's nice and open, but that's, that was my plan. And I think I'm still going to do that. Probably next episode, we're going to start out by flying around and seeing where I'm going to build this base. Because I have some ideas, but I also assume that the west side of the island is easier because that's where you start. So I'd rather build a base on the easier side of the island. But I think either way, all the cannibals and mutants, they're all souped up with like their armors and stuff now. So it doesn't really matter where we are. We're going to encounter the stronger enemies at this point in the game. Uh, hello again, old golf cart. At least we'll get to listen to the radio. I'm going to try and drive this thing back into town. I wonder if you can get Virginia on the golf cart as well, because you can get Kelvin. But you can't tell Virginia what to do. She'll only follow you on her own. Kelvin, he's just your servant. He'll do whatever you tell him. It's nice, chill music on the way back. I didn't really expect to run into anything here. <laughs> Unfortunately, my road's coming to a dead end. Does that mean there's something here? Okay, this is not the right idea. I gotta get back to a path. 
And which I don't think is going to be possible. I can't believe this thing's climbing this hill. But will it get up this? Oh my god, it did. Well, if I keep going up the hill, we should make it back to the path. Oh my god, if I can somehow make it to this path, that was like the mountain path. There's no way I'm getting back up there, but... Damn it. That little cannibal sitting there. Okay, this is officially a waste of time. I'm gonna have to go on foot because it's slower to just go through with that thing. Now this cave, I don't know if I've been here already. I think I recognize this long river here in that cave entrance, but I don't even know. I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe that was the exit for the other cave, but I don't know. I'll have to check it out sometime. I'm sure I'll revisit all these caves at some point just to get solified or something. Just to try and remember what was there. It's been so long, but I see that K on the map. He's actually in range. Oh, wow. And we run into another, like, abandoned golf cart. It's weird how there's just these little watering holes that have nothing in them. But they, they're, they have effigies for some reason. Okay, it looks like I could use the glider here, thank God. So I'm probably going to glide right back around and loop around this. I fear I'm going to look for that glider one day and it's not going to be there because I forgot to pick it up or something. I see an excavator down there. That's why I think I have been to this cave. I think this was one of the caves I was running along. Yeah, I, rem I recognize. I think this cave was from a blueprint or something. I don't think this was a bigger cave, but I remember coming to this location. And there's a waterfall over there, but... I think this to the right over there is that other waterfall now there is a blue question mark but have i been to this one i have no idea i'm gonna go to it because there's a possibility that i went to this one but then couldn't pick up the locator but i think i'll be able to get over there pretty easily with this glider yeah i hear you down there ah, okay so i have not been to this one because the helicopter is spawning here all right well that's good i I don't know if these just pop up later on or what, but I somehow didn't notice this one all the way down here on the west side of the island. I want to shoot at them, but I don't want them to think I'm friendly. I don't think it matters, though. I don't think they give a shit about me, even if I was one of their, like, military employees. One of their soldiers, <laughs> whatever you call them. Well, he's circling another spot. I can't see what the hell it is, though. It's going to be another one of these tents. Okay. This is where I could get some nice loot, but have I already been here? Wait, oh, I don't know. I don't think so. This, no, I've not been to this one. Okay, no, I have definitely not been here. Can I eat that or did I, what happened there? Well, these look like the more deadly mutants. Let me just go through here and find my loot. Um, we are in business, Chuck. Sahara is able to fund me in a way Puffton never would. I'm heading back to the island to see what's left of everyone. Time to assemble a team, GNU. Okay. So, uh, right. Sahara was like their Puffton's competitor. So maybe Sahara funded all these, uh, military, this private military. And that's why GNU was working with them. I do remember Sahara from the first game. I remember there being like some containers. I don't know if that was in the first game or this game, but there were like containers that had documents from them. Oh, my medicine. I guess from eating, my health went back up. Oh, finally, a C4 brick. Oh, night vision goggles. I thought that was going to be another binocular. Okay, night vision goggles, though. That is going to be fun. Oh, my God. This looks like Grand Theft Auto, like the original ones on PlayStation. What the fuck, dude? Okay, something tells me this doesn't work during the day at all. How do I take it off? Oh, my God. Am I just stuck like this? How do I take the damn thing off? Unequip. Unequip. Okay, there we go. Holy shit. Well, that's going to be amazing for caves. Thank God I have that for the next time I go cave exploring. Oh, look at this too. Explosive chests. God, I got to remember I have these grenades because I now I have to leave these behind. But carbon fiber arrows and I picked up whatever other arrows were here. Crossbow bolts, so I'm getting resupplied on those. But that's awesome. The night vision goggles. Oh, oh God. I wanted to go out at night and explore with the goggles and also with the cave. So that'll be so super fun. Now, it seems like we're getting ambushed, but these guys are, I'm not too worried about, like, at all. Now, I can't pick up that locator, so unfortunately it's going to stay here. And, oh, look, another solar fight fragment. This would have been a 
my first solo fight or if I had gone over here. Oh, seven millimeter ammo too. Uh, I want to shoot these guys, but I also just want to kill them. I don't like how they're just running around having fun. Ooh, how did that... It sounded like it hit him. Oh, no rolling around. Okay. Let's see how quickly I can take them all out. Oh my god. Not fast at all, apparently. What is this guy doing? Now they're all scattered. Oh my god. He's jiggling. Is that it then? You're all just gonna run off? Well, this cave looks insanely ominous. So maybe next time we'll start off here. But before we end this, let me make sure I kill all these guys and I'm somewhat safe. Alright, well I tell you what. This might might not be a long cave, so let's just go check it out. Oh god, okay, maybe it's not. Okay. Hit my light button. And that, okay. I'm figuring out how it works though. Well, at least I can now test these night vision goggles. Nope. Someone stashed their ammo back here. This is super helpful. But it's also super weird. I like it how it looks though. Yeah, I'm glad I just went in here to test the night vision. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's actually going to go anywhere. Oh, blueprint. That looks like a... Some kind of podium or... Ah, God, who knows? Some kind of altar. Takes 50 bones. I have them, though, stocked up at that base. Well, this was a blueprint cave, and there's another one. Alright, I'm going to just uh, get out of here. But this was a cool test of the night vision, for sure. And it's nice how you can just turn it off with F. I didn't I didn't know how that was going to work. I thought it would be kind of like the rebreather where you'd have to put it on manually. But even the rebreather puts it on automatically when you get in water. Well, I guess they already took out all the mutants that were here for me. So I just take the spoils and leave. All right, though, I'm going to save. And the next time I'm going <laughs> to finally find a spot. And I swear we're going to start making this base next time. I'm still down here, but we're pretty much back to where I need to be. Somehow I'm going to make it up. Hi, and we're going to glide down and we're going to find the spot that I'm going to make this base. And I, I kind of already know where I'm going to, even if I can't find somewhere. So if you're still here, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you all next time.